one of the worst um, things about living in the United States, these sorts of things. So for those, I know I have people, friends on here from different countries and stuff. It might not, I'm sure, I know that there's like international news and everything, but yeah, there was another shooting here and this sort of thing, like it could happen to anyone. Like it's, it happens, like there isn't always a mass shooting or something like, like why is this a fucking category of like, it's just a typical thing, like a school shooting or a church shooting or whatever, just like targeting the most innocent people and everything, right? And like just fucked up shit. But like even I, like part of me, you know, I'm very much introverted, but like part of me would like to like maybe go to Scorpio or something and like sort of like some sort of queer LGBT bar or something or club and, you know, do something sometime. But like I'm never going to because I have that thought in the back of my mind. Like there was the Pulse massacre, like fucking like about 50 people fucking injured and everything or killed or whatever. Like this happens like at, you know, LGBTQ events. This happens at churches and schools, even just like, like anywhere. It could just happen at like a restaurant or a sports event or something. It's scary and it's just like, it's so fucked up. And my, you know, obviously first and foremost, the victims, that's, you, you want to mourn the victims and pay tribute that way. And yeah, that's fucked up. Like literally like innocent children dying and innocent, you know, just like teachers and things. But I'm also very, I'm afraid of what this might influence people to feel and everything like I just feel like there are going to be politicians oh yeah I forgot so the this suspect of the shooting it, this was at a, a church with teachers and different things like classroom school church stuff the suspect has been identified as transgender so like I just I, I also am afraid that this is going to you know they're, people are gonna be like see transgender people are crazy and they shouldn't be allowed to transition and stuff we should definitely buckle down on this stuff like this stuff's already happening all the laws and everything and again i don't want to be a self-centered piece of shit like this is, it we should focus again on the victims and everything but still just i want to look at everything and this this little selfish fear is there and everything um you know it could be politicians it could also just be like plenty of the citizens of these places especially in the south and everything it's like transgender people are not more likely to hurt others they are more likely to have suicidal ideation and depression and different things and face these things but like just think about again with the pulse massacre or something more way more related to this like religious sort of going against religious stuff the uh dylan whatever um the dude that went and shot up the uh, black church and stuff like this happened. I just wanted like, we have to remember that there are good, there are all sorts of good and bad people throughout every sort of group and everything. Right. So like, I just, I'm afraid that this is going to, I don't think anything is actually, I don't know. I'm, it might though. I don't know. It's just don't punish good people for other people's bad actions and everything. But yeah. Um, anyway, this is just like, I fucking, it's scary and it's disgusting just thinking of these different things and everything, like innocent people. Anyway, uh, why, like, and it's like, you'll focus, I'm not saying, I don't even know what sort of firearm was used for this, I'm not doing a whole bunch of, I don't, I don't know, but, uh, it's like people will be like, oh, well, you know, I'm, like I said, probably that people are going to be like talking about be like, oh, crazy transgender people and stuff. But like, and then you'll talk about abortion and different things, but you won't talk about firearms and like fucking having a little bit like more of a process to getting one, even to becoming a police officer. It's much easier to become a police officer here. You can have a history of domestic abuse and stuff and still be a police officer. Like there's just some backward stuff to living in this country. It, I love freedom, different things. There's all sorts of, you know, good to being here too. And I'm very grateful that, again, like there was like recently I saw the thing like Uganda or whatever, like they're gonna make it a crime to even like, like just do anything LGBTQ or whatever. Like I understand that there are worse places to live and everything. There are places where if I had five o'clock shadow and wore a dress, like 
there's a good chance somebody's just going to kill me, like, not just even, like, a crazed shooter or something, so I understand that. You know, there's very much yin and yang and different things all around. Uh, there are much worse places to live that I'm grateful that I don't live and everything. We should all be like that, too. Like, even you know, cisgender women and different things. Places where, you know, they're still, they're far further from, you know, equal rights than we are and stuff. Different things and everything. But, yeah, it's like, this is... What's and it's sick, dude. You search this up, you try to find it, and yes, it will show up at the top of Google. But then, like with this shit happens, like just about every day. Not always mass shootings, not but like a lot of people being dicks. There's a lot of people that you know, you know, crimes of passion, like are like hurting their spouses and stuff because they cheated or whatever different things. There's all sort like. It happens so much here. And again, there are, there are other places where violence happens and everything. But, like, in a developed country like this that has been so, like, you know, just all the things that we're capable of, of and everything. Like, there are so many countries that have had similar bad things. Like, we're, like, you know, 10 or 50 people get shot. And they're, like, hey, how about we make it a little bit more difficult? And then what do you know? It fucking works. Like, I understand they're also... It's just we may just have... There may be some sickness to the United States where it's like there are more sick, weak, you know, people that are fucking going to do disgusting things. It might just be like that. Maybe we do just have more bad people here. But make it, you know, let's... God damn. Like, how many times is this going to happen? And people, like... It's sick. Like, some of the... Uh, kind of like how, like, I was selfish talking about, you know, what is this going to mean for transgender people as a whole and everything and laws and everything legislation but also think about the people every time like a shooting happens they're like you know it'd be like oh stock up on guns you know stock up on guns they're gonna take away our guns like don't that's fucked up dude we like i don't know there's so much it's just there's a this is a scary there are scary scary events that make life scary in the united states that, like, make people think twice before, th like, we should not be having, like, so many, like, what did I see, that thing, like, you're worried about, like, kids learning about queer people or seeing, you know, movies with, you know, queer representation, but you're not worried about, you know, the fact that there are active shooter drills that are, like, just a part of life now, because, like, this shit is so American, it just happens, like, all the fucking time, like, better get used to it, like, just all right, let's show you exactly what you have to do in these situations. Like, that's fucking disgusting. Yeah. We need to make this not occur. Like, ideally at all, we should, but obviously there's, like, there are still, you know, certain places with stricter gun laws, like, and stuff, people will, there'll be stabbings and different things, but, like, That's just the main thing from this that I want, you know, yes, I want to talk about um, how everyone can, there are bad people in all sorts of, there are weak people that are going to do terrible things to innocent people, and it doesn't matter if they're LGBTQ or if they're, you know, far right, uh, racist, all sorts of things. There are different, there are definitely more, like, this should not, you know, be a stain on LGBTQ life and everything, right? This, people shouldn't take it that way. Be like, oh, all sorts of, you know. And again, that's selfish of me, and I'm sorry. But I just wanted to point that out, really. But also, yeah, think about just the main thing from this should be, come on, let's fucking look at these, all these occurrences and try to just change this shit. Really, like, people are like, oh, guns, uh, guns don't kill people and everything. Like, like, I don't, I, only a few people died from this. It's still really fucked up. I doubt, it probably wasn't, like, an AR, an Armalite, or whatever. But, like, still, like, nobody, that's the, it's so annoying. You see, like, regular citizens, like, look at, I mean, yes, it's more of a process to get these things. But, like, just having, like, going to the shooting range with, like, fucking giant rifles and shit, like, stupid shit. Oh, but the government may take over sometime. Dude, the government has, like, satellite weapons. The government, DARPA and shit, dude, the government is, like, fucking a decade ahead of citizens in technology. If the government wanted to subject its citizens to terrible things and, like, enslave us, 
your fucking rifle is not going to do shit. There is futuristic weaponry, like, seriously. But anyway, I love you all. I hope you have pleasant times. This is just, this sort of thing happens so much, and it's just, it's always tiring, and it's shitty. And it's, but it's like, it just keeps, keeps on happening. Anyway, have a great day.